after show with the kids from People's Couch, Destiny Rose from Charles the Sunset, Julie Goldman and Brandy Howard from the podcast Dumb Gay Politics. Scott Nevins is on the board of directors of DAF Health. It's a nonprofit healthcare organization. And the boy, you can go to daphealth.org to find out more about that. Blake MacGyver Ewing and Emerson oh, yeah. Collins. The boys, check out the movies A Very Shorted Wedding and Southern Baptist Sissies, both on Amazon. Let's go to some virtual fan questions. Here's Bethany from North Carolina with a question for Scott. Yes, Bethany. Hi, Andy. Hi, Scott. Good to see you guys. Hey. Hi, honey. <laughs> Hello. Hi. My question for you is, what was your fondest memory of opening for Barry Manilow? And are you a fanilow yourself? <laughs> okay, so... Um, I am a tried and true fanalo, which I think Andy, you are too. I You're am a, a fanalo. Fan yes, I'm a manalooni. <laughs> manalooni, yes. Yes. Um, my fondest memory, honestly, was it was the hardest thing I ever did because opening for someone that famous, nobody wants to see you. You could be the funniest person in the world, no one cares. But I was like doing it, people were laughing, I felt good, and I looked into the wings, and there was Barry Manilow watching me and laughing at my jokes, and I could have died right there. And since then, he's been facing Any truth to the rumor that the two of you were a thing? <laughs> no, absolutely I not. Um, but so funny, Ooh. when I met my fiance, his dad found that article and sent it to him and was like, I don't, I don't know if you should be involved with this guy. <laughs> but no, I was never with Barry Manilow. Emerson, why are you so happy I asked that question? I love that rumor so much. I perpetuated it. I tell people. Oh no, he did. They dated. No, it was very serious. <laughs> Here's, here's Debbie from New York with a question for Blake and Emerson. Hi, um, what is the biggest Bravo related fight you two have gotten into and how did you manage to resolve it? <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Um, Blake won't watch Vanderpump Rules with me. Like he, I can't watch it when he is in the building. Like he can't listen to it. Really? That's our biggest Bravo conflict. That is a big conflict. It's a it's a problem. Yeah, is it yeah, like no. Mary Hart gives you epilepsy, that kind of thing? Very that, yes. Right. It's, it's my LA native comes out and I'm like, don't represent us like this. Okay. Um, Destiny, foodie uh, eat now uh, wants to know, Mike commented on buying and selling you out and you not being able to afford him. Can you explain what he meant and why your wealth is in question? That seems to be a common trope on the Shahs that people like to say, I could, I'm richer than you, especially the guys on Shahs. Well, oh, Andy, when you have money, um, I can't speak for all, but I can generally speak for myself. I don't want people to know what I have. Okay. Right. So the wealthiest, wealthiest people in the world, you would never know they got money. But for someone to say that, first of all, disgusting. Second of all, it just speaks volumes. And he's very intimidating. He knows my pepito is way bigger than his. And I don't even have one. So there's You're that tall? there's that insecurity. <laughs> there's an insecurity there. You know what I mean? And plus, he knows I can see right through him. Just that comment alone. I mean, look, let's be real. If he could say that to me, imagine what he says to Paulina. Point blank. Ooh. OK. Um, well, it's so great seeing all of you. I, I, I'm so excited to do this. We will do it again. Uh, and thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for all your Bravo hot takes. I hope to see you again in person sometime. For more, click around bravotv.com, everybody. Good night. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.